three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, folks, we're back with a board Sharpsburg, Georgia detailer here at Mike's Magic. You, you work on your own car <laughs> when you got no customers due to this virus. Uh, maybe in a week or two when the pollen clears up. What I was going to show you guys, I was on just a little bit a few minutes ago, showed you the car that it was covered in pollen and all I've done at this point hey mr. Matt all I've done at this point I just took my El Cheapo pressure washer I think I got that one at Harbor Freight it's basically my backup but it was easier to get to than my more expensive one and all I've done at this point is rinse this car off as you can see with that ceramic coating and all that stuff I had on there the pile and basically just rinsed off I mean there is no sign of it hardly that I can see there's something right there I don't know what that is exactly I think it's some splatter from when I was buffing on my motorcycle so I may have to contact wash that right in there just to get rid of that but other than that I'm not planning on contact washing it at all and some of you had expressed some curiosity when I talk about a foam cannon. What am I talking about? Hey, Ashley, Beaner, Beaner, Beaner. Well, there it is. It just goes on the end of the wand of your pressure washer. Hey, baby. And what I've got in there this time, simply some Meguiar's Gold Car Wash and distilled water because they say using that will make it foam better <clears throat> it's not going to foam as good as my more expensive one because this one doesn't have quite the output plus i have a cheaper hose with a smaller diameter so i'm not getting quite the gs as i might normally do but a lot of people had expressed curiosity about what is foam in a car what is a foam cannon? So I just thought I'd hop back on here right quick and just give y'all a quick demonstration of what it looks like. That's a cheap foam cannon right there. M-A-T-C-C, -C, I think it is. Got it off of Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks. You can pay way over a hundred dollars for one of those if you like. Hey, somebody else jumping on there. Can't tell who that is. Uh, oh, it's Stephanie. How about Stephanie? So I was just gonna show y'all what you know, a good maintenance pH balance soap like Meguiar's with distilled water. Only about that much Meguiar soap in there. The rest of it's distilled water with a cheap foam cannon, the wrong size, diameter hose. What kind of foam that will get you. And what you do is you foam the car, you let it sit there for a few minutes, and then you just rinse it right back off. Some people will do their contact wash after that. I don't normally do that. Hey, Miss Gloria. But I'm just going to try to set this camera up. Yeah, y'all probably can't hear me real good because I've got this on. <laughs> Keep, it's not a virus. It's not a virus mask. It's a pollen mask, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to sit you on my little thing here. And I'll do my best to show y'all what, what foam in a car looks like.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you foam a car. And that, that worked very well. You can see that foam is pretty thick. You can pull a few tricks and get it thicker. Like I say, the better power washer, better hose, all that would make it thicker. But I'm, I'm pleased with that. And if you so chose, you could do your contact wash with a wash mitt or wherever you wanted to right now. And it would work very, very well. This foam, that's, that's slick, very slick. I wouldn't do that at this point because I'm in direct sunlight and the foam I don't think would last long enough for you to do a contact wash on the entire car. So I just wanted to take a quick one here and show you guys what that looked like, what the process looked like and what it looks like. So we'll let this dwell for a few minutes. I'm going to grab a wash mitt and wash that splatter from a buffer off of that bumper back there. And I'll be back in a few minutes and show y'all how I dry this car off after all that because I'm not going to do a contact wash. Don't need to. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I wish I could, these little bitty pictures in the corner, I wish they were bigger so I could see them. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Showing people how to foam a car, Jacob. Go back to the beginning. and paint enhancement and uh, motorcycles <laughs> uh, Mr. Jacob how's your mama doing boy all right folks let me get this thing rinsed off and I'll be back in a little bit and show y'all the rest of this process bye now oh somebody's sending me a bunch of hearts there I can't tell who it is right now <laughs>